What's up everybody, my name is Luke from Marching Woods, pre Men's Wear and Vintage Watchdog. So a little while ago I put a YouTube short out with a lookbook of Amani in the 90s. The men's wear was just absolute fire. I'd say 90% of the people liked it. There was definitely a few that were just basically just thought it was suit suits, suits, which is fair. You know, it's not for everyone. But there is something about the aesthetic, there's something about the colour palettes they use, the cuts, that hits a certain tone with us today. I don't know what it is, maybe it's because, I don't know, it's probably from people that are more into formal wear. And also the big love of Italian tailoring that we have now, and Armani was at the forefront of spearheading that towards a more British and American market. I just made that stuff up, but it could be true. So I just wanted to go through an Armani uh, runway show from the 90s, I think it's 97, 98, the full of that season, the full season of that, and uh, check out what the fits were like. So first up, actually, just a quick fit check. I've got the ring jacket, houndstooth uh, blazer, which is in store currently. It's a little bit long for me, so the sleeves don't fit properly because I've got short arms. And a John Smedley um, t-shirt, uh, both pre-owned, and this is in store. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. So this, yeah, this show, it's 40 minutes. I might cut some of it, depending on what it is. I have to take the sound off because it might be copyright. So first, I mean, I love going through these fashion channel. The fashion channel on YouTube have so many sick old sort of 90s uh, catwalk shows. There's something just about the grainy footage, the, the campness of it all. Just stuff you don't see nowadays. So first up we've got a very nice, uh, more of an 80s, 80s to 90s look here. High waisted trousers, pinstripe and a bit of a pattern, sort of viscous silk shirt, which is kind of cool. Five guys at once. And yeah, just some very simple but nice knitwear. Nicely fitted as well, especially that the last guy. Really like that fit. This is a lot. I think the bagginess of these pinstripey trousers is a bit much. Nice, um, maybe suede jackets, mate. No, this is okay. So more of a structured suit in this one in green. For this guy. Um, I'm not, I can't say I love the pinstripe of these just because the material with them is a bit off. They do look a bit too suity. But one thing I do love is the colour palettes, the greens, the dark uh, dark shades of, sort of grey, browns. Simple knitwear as well, soft, so the stuff you see today in a lot of uh, Italian brands. And for the 90s, these, these suits are good fits, like, Kind of bit big on the shoulders and the sleeves, but generally pretty nice. The trousers are nicely cut, they're not too loose and baggy. I like the, the size of the lapel's nice. I love so okay, the colour the colours here are just awesome. I love it. Especially this second guy. Is that this kind of like wall shirt? Oversized two button blazer there, that's cool. So this, I mean, this is a bit more like Balenciaga. -y. Simple, kind of boring. This one, actually. Same here. But yeah, I, I would wear that. I would maybe do a few alterations. I love that. The lapels on that are lovely. Yeah, I'd slit, I'd just a uh, little bit of tweaks if I was to have this today. The one negative is this sort of matrix style glasses stuff that we were all doing in the 90s. Or that edge from WWF. Kind of reminds me of. Yes! Love this! What do people think about tucking their ties into the trousers? It's not a move I've done yet. 
But I can, I, you know, I can see Brad Pitt in these, these suits. Like in, back in, he was wearing these kind of suits for a long time. This has got very Ocean's Eleven vibes. Ocean's Eleven, 12. Love that coat. I would wear that 100%. About it. Mm. Creepy twin vibes. Jacob re Reesel jacket vibes as well. But yes. <sighs> See, this is, I, I like it. I like the, the flamboyant of it all. It's just that the 90s sunglasses and hair just messes the whole thing up. Otherwise, it's got a very Tom Ford vibe. It looks very comfortable, to be fair. Back with the slim sort of knitwear. I like the trousers, high-waisted. I like the colour of them. Not sure about this one. Don't like this one. I really like those kind of jackets. They creep me out. They're like when you see Oktoberfest and the, the lederhosen guys. I like this, really elongated, slim fit to it. The jacket. The jacket and trousers are too close, they're not matching, but they're too close. I like this. I like this guy's jacket and the shirt done up. Creepy. Beard, the chin little goatee. Yeah, these have an H well. But these, I would, I like this. These are just two button double breasted things. Um, a little, um, I don't know what that neck's called, but I like that. I think I might have had that. Like this, different, like a cropped cardi that just buttons up at the bottom. It's kind of cool. And this one, I would wear that. Yeah, pretty fire actually. See, this is a bit more zoot suity, a bit boxy. There's such a difference between these sort of boxy ones. It looks okay undone, and the ones before, which are pretty much the same, but just slimmer. Like this, so much slimmer, so much less. Uh, volume around the chest and around the shoulders just looks so much better. That that suit that that first guy was wearing, well, both of them would. There's just it would easily go down well today. Uh, the con contrasted buttons in these just look awful. And that pearl buttons, tie, oh, that that doesn't go. This is like lethal weapon enemy vibes, like the the, the big Russian. I like this. Mm. Feels about it. Mm. Top yo, like a draw jacket. This is very. This is where that 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 one before was very similar to the ones I put in the short. That was just people that people were loving. It just has that loose feel to it. I don't know what the material was. It was kind of this really soft but stretchy. Um, I don't know. Cool cotton mix thing. Oof, this is a strong. Look. This is that fake Tom Ford vibes. I like this. Uh, apart from the trousers, I'm just something. I don't like about the trousers, it gives me that clown feels. Yeah, 
yeah, something about those contrasting buttons, which gives me the ick. There's something about these that everyone started dressing like that for a period, and it looks, it just got so overplayed, it just looks naff now. But I guarantee you, if there was like a Balenciaga or Vetamon wearing that sort of stuff, it would, it would just, it would fit in perfectly. Like the sateen looks, <laughs> they're insane, but I kind of like them. Sateen, sateen, sateen. It's kind of boring now. We've watched the same stuff over and over again. I'm getting a little bit bored. This is a better use of the pinstripes, definitely. Where's the super middle guy? Middle guy smashes it compared to the other two. Is that the same suit, mate. Yeah, the middle suit is much nicer. I kind of like this, this this tie shirt combo, like silvery tie, but just in a sort of gives vintage feel about it, like bringing it back. This, this collar's a mess. Someone's back there having kittens about that. I also don't like this three button top button done up thing, I hate that. I love this. This, uh, uh, the silhouette of this, just a, it's really slim. You've got to obviously have the physique for it, but high waisted, really beautifully cut trousers. You've got to have some balls to pull this jacket, this coat off though. I'm into it. I like that, the big neck. This is pretty nice. This is like, An older model. This is uh, Friends. You'd see, I oh know, maybe didn't. You see Joey and something like that. There's that top again. So it's like fake suspenders. I think Leighton Orion had a kit like that once. I like this, no neck. That's pretty cool. Like they had to throw in a lot of these satin looks just to excite people because as much as I love the wearability of a lot of this to an extent it is a little bit boring watching the same thing over and over again the same tones I like the shirt the shirt's very cool I would wear this oh here we go with these guys again they're going to sing They are just gonna do a prime. Yes, that's creepy. Can't get away with that nowadays. That's the best suit. Look at that. That's beautifully cut. Very modern, slim. So they could do it then. Like. They could make a very slim down suit. Oh, that's, that is beautiful. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go find some of these vintage Armani tuxes. Maybe not this one. I don't really like a shawl, like an open shawl, double breasted thing. I'm not a big fan of that. I need the James Bond villain deck. I like that coat, like the white drapes, flows. Oh, there's the man himself. Who just looks immaculate. Imagine being that age and being looking that, okay, slightly leathery, but that shape. That's the plan. That's the goal. Anyway. Um, all right, well, that was it. Um, it was 40 minutes long. It was a bit too long for me. I 
we got the gist of a lot of the looks and I'm, I'm to be honest big fan still really like the tones and the color palettes or anything a few things that were a bit dated like the cuts of some stuff but it was definitely some items especially the evening where the tux at the end was so how different is that to what you see today so it's crazy but yeah that was really interesting um check out archer and woods store for pm menswear i'm gonna try and find some vintage Armani for it uh, what do you think of that would you like to have you got any recommendations for any other sort of vintage old shows to, to have a look at and review um anyone if you want to get in touch with us hello at archerwoods.co.uk at archerwoods on the socials look forward to hearing from you cheers